-hmm. Page 38. Holy God, we praise thy name. Three, four time. We're still in the key of G major, so all the ups are sharped. I'd like to suggest some things for the right hand. This is a fairly quick little piece. So uh, they're fingering, I find they're fingering a little bit awkward, so I'm going to suggest some slightly different things. Right at the beginning, on these G's, and they want you to cross over for the F sharp. It's doable, you want to do that, go ahead, but I recommend this. Three, uh, starting out with a thumb, and for the other G's, it's a two, three. I'm using different fingers. And then I'm going to do a two on the F sharp and then a thumb, just like they're saying to. It's just the first note instead of a thumb is a third finger. This is a very common fingering in piano. So is that, but I, I recommend you give this a shot. And anywhere else in here, like the last line where the same pattern happens, I use the same fingering. Now on the second line, the last two measures. Ugh, I don't like that at all. So I'm going to recommend that from the third finger in the next to the last the last note in the next to the last measure of B that you come and you do a two four on the first one. It's like using two different fingers on a repeated note. Like that's all I'm suggesting except you go, go ahead and put the second finger down with it. Hopefully that's not a problem. Then you can do a 1-3 if you don't mind putting a thumb on a black key. Now if that's a problem for you, if that doesn't work, then you've got to come here. you got to do a 1-4 instead of a 2-4 and then you can do a 2-3 for the F-sharp A. I find that much easier than their fingering. If that's what you want to do. That happens at the top of page 39. I recommend the same fingering for that too. That takes us down to the bottom of page 39. Last line. And the, the third and fourth measure, they're saying you can cross over. That's okay. Don't have to. You can do uh, a four on the C in the third measure. So the second measure is here. Then just crunch up and put the fourth finger on that C. That's very common. And this way you avoid having to cross over the thumb. Although if you want to cross over the thumb, you go right ahead and cross over. That's the right hand. The left hand, for the most part, just has these primary chords. They're tied, you're going to hold them down forever to keep them there. And 5 7 on one chord, I don't see a problem in the uh, left hand. The last line on page 39, the left hand's a little awkward because you've been in this position and you, in the third measure, you got a 5 7 chord. Well, on the first two measures, you're playing notes. And you're using the little finger on the G, but then you need it again on the F sharp. What you can do is simply move down one note and put the thumb on the C because you the measure right before it you're playing a B with third finger so you can just crunch up a little bit and put the th thumb on the C and then you're there. The problem with that is it's still awkward because you're coming from here note to a chord. That's awkward. So it's like, which awkward do you want? I, it's up to you. If you go ahead and use the fingering if you want, but, but you're going to have to do that. And that's okay, you can do that. I've just given you another option, which is just as bad as this. Uh, Counting-wise is no big deal. Three, four times and a lot of quarter notes and half notes and whatnot, and you can handle the whatnot, so I'm sure we're good there. There's a fermata, a couple fermatas at the end. I'm just going to double the value of the note, whatever it is, and hang on to it. It has a repeat sign, but I'm only going to repeat it once, even though there's a total of three verses available. So let's go through this slowly and double check the notes and the rhythms. So the right hand is here, left hand's here. I'll give us three counts. One, ready, go. One. Two. One, two, three.
repeat. Hold two, three, off. 